Okay, so let me assume you are not an engineer. So what makes you watch this video? Well, let me give you some good reasons for this. So how big do you think a ship is? Well, the biggest ones are approximately 400 meters. Mostly those are container ships. Which carry approximately 20,000 containers. And if you load that on a train, it will be more than 150 kilometers long. So I just want you to imagine if the ship is so big, imagine the amount of power engine will require to run such a big ship. Just for reference, it will be the power of 150 Lamborghinis or up to six to 800 of your daily use cars. And yes, if this reason was not enough for you, let me give you another one. Just the fact that you can take out the seawater directly from the sea and just convert it into fresh drinking water. And even if these two points were not able to convince you, somehow you are definitely going to be convinced by the salary an engineer gets on the ship. So let's start the video and roll the intro. So hello guys and welcome back to Marine Mantra and right now I am standing on the bridge. This is the steering wheel. It looks very similar to your car, right? The difference you will notice is there is no brake and there is no accelerator, right? So where do we control it from? So this is the main engine telegraph and we control it right from here. Acceleration, stopping, everything is controlled from, you know, just this small panel. But actually what you see is just a fraction of it. like maybe 0.1% or something. The main parts lies down inside the engine room and the engine control room is located four floors right below us. So let's take a jump to the engine room. So here we are in the engine control room and we have with us today second engineer of the ship. Hi, this is Hari. I'm sailing a second engineer on MT Zircon. Not to forget, he's a very senior engineer and obviously a very, very rich man. But to that point, we will come later in this video. I thought considering taking one engineer in the video because I do not know much about the mechanical parts of the engine. So obviously we will need an engineer and when you have a smart one, there is nothing to worry, right? Well, by the look of it, you might think that uh, this place looks way more complicated. But uh, this is so because this is the engine control room and in engine room there are much more than one machinery, just the main engine. So you need a whole control room to control it and how many people uh, does it take to maintain and you know all this. Uh, from 7 to 13 people. When you enter as a layman, the ECR shows like a complicated thing. But once you understand the machine and everything, it becomes very easy to maintain and operate the machine. How many floors does it go down below this right level? Now we have two more, two more floors to go down and another three more floors to go up. So basically, this is on the level of the water, so we can go two more levels down which are underwater. Interesting. So. What are the type of engines on different ship you see? Like in, in a very layman language, what would you say? Basically, there are gasoline engines and right now there are new engines which are run by LNG and LPG. And there are engines which are run also by methanol. So we are progressing much in the favor of the environment. We carry so much goods, we run so huge engines and still we are trying to preserve the nature as much as possible. we can. Yeah, as much as possible. So. The thing is, how much power does this engine generate? And this is going to be very interesting. Huh? How much power does this engine uh, generate? So if you consider, say, layman's way, our average uh, family car, which sits five people, that makes around 80 to 120 kilowatt. If you compare with that, this vessel is 8,000 kilowatt. And I have sailed on vessels, which has engines of 32,000 kilowatt of power. So and it... this consumes uh, the amount of, uh, like, uh, petrol or diesel whatever you say in one day that is 24 tons in a, in a day so that will if you run a car with that amount of uh, gasoline it will take 3 lakh kilometers that's basically 20 years for a car maybe or you will sell your car by then okay so the people who want to join merchant navy as an engineer or even someone who does not want to join and is interested in knowing the salary of engineers on ship we will get back to that in a minute. First, let's go for a round of the engine room. And let me show you some important and interesting components which I think you might never have seen. So since second engineer is a busy person, we need to find someone else to give us an engine room tour. And we have motorman Ganesh with us. And Ganesh is going to give us a tour. And it's going to be very, very, very noisy. 
सो बिफोर एंटरिंग द इंजन रूम यू मस्ट बी इक्विप्ड वेल विद पी पी किट्स लाइक प्रॉपर पी पी वेर हेलमेट एंड मफ्स इज पुटिंग गेट प्लस यू हेयर द नॉइज ऑलरेडी सो दिस इज हाउ इट साउंड एंड आई डोंट थिंक यू कैन लिसन टू माई वॉइस एनी मोर सो द फर्स्ट थिंग आई एम शोइंग यू इज द मेन इंजन इट सेल्फ एंड दिस वन इज द इंजन आई नो इट्स क्वाइट बिग बट देर आर मच मच बिगर इंजन अवेलेबल ऑन बिगर शिप्स द इंटरेस्टिंग फैक्ट इज यू डोंट नीड एनी की टू स्टार्ट द इंजन ऑन शिप लाइक योर कार Now for running the main engine the fuel we use is not your regular diesel or petrol otherwise it will be too much expensive yeah sometimes we run it on diesel otherwise it runs on a fuel called heavy fuel oil hfo which is now vlsfo very low sulfur fuel oil and since it is very dirty we need to use purifier so two for fuel oil and two for lube oil now the second thing i am showing you is the generator so we have three total generators also called the auxiliary engines ae and uh, these are useful like for every day work on ship for electrical and all this supplies the generators are used even the ship is running the engine is running or not running the generators are very very important and vital part and yes before you start getting bored by saying the engine parts let me show you the fresh water generator you remember earlier in the video i told you that we can convert sea water into fresh water this is the fresh water generator that converts it into fresh water and it makes approximately 16 tons per day on the ship that is 16000 liters of fresh water now since we are selling for so long sometimes we need to minimize the garbage consumption and for that we have incinerator like many of the paper and domestic wastes you can literally burn it down in the incinerator so i literally don't know how much you can hear me it is also very noisy but at least i think you can get some idea so this is the main steering gear room i mean the uh, the steering you saw on the bridge the small little steering wheel that was just you know 0.1% no i think maybe 1% of it size wise but that was the control and this is the main operation of the steering going on and this is how the ship moves this passes the information to the rudder of the ship which is actually with the attached with the propeller and that's under water i cannot show you that but yes this is the main control and uh, if you could hear me this was it okay so that was the engine room tour and uh, now the most important question and the more interesting answer to it How much is the salary range of engineers? I will not tell the exact salary of someone. You might, you know, plan something which is. So, what salary you started when you started as a junior engineer? So, I started with seven hundred dollars, and in the current market, you can start with four hundred dollars, and which goes up to on the still sixteen thousand dollars, which will take around eight to fifteen years. If you are good enough, you can make it within eight to ten years. And uh, if you are need to take more time, it will take around 13 to 15 years to go to the top rank. The chief engineer, and he is on the second top rank. So just imagine, his salary is somewhere between <laughs> should not be disclosed. Okay, somewhere between nine to twelve thousand dollars. That's it. This profession is tough, so you have to be mentally tough. And to reach to the top, you have to study a lot. So I was done in the engine room for maybe. Uh, 20 to 30 minutes and i am already covered in sweat the reason is the engine room is very very hot because of so much of machinery is and the main engine itself so whatever is the atmospheric temperature support is 32 degree outside so the engine room will be approximately 40 to 42 degrees so definitely it's not a very very friendly working environment and with this particular frame this is the end of this video almost so it takes a lot of time to shoot edit and upload and a lot of data too that's like not very cheap on the ship so <laughs> what i ask you if you like this video do like the video press that like button if you are not subscribed yet subscribe the channel and press that bell icon to watch the next video when i upload it put your comments in the comment section so whatever you think whatever you want to watch on the channel i'll try to make those for you and share the videos with your friends and family or whomever you want to know this about said that see you in the next video till then jai hind jai bharat alvida